Now, take a look at this one. Her name is Valerie. And I'm going to reveal the rest of Valerie's face in just a moment, but I want to warn you, it is very shocking. The other half of Valerie's face has been horribly disfigured by massive tumors. Now, Valerie suffers from a disease that a lot of us call elephant man disease, but that's not the correct uh, definition of it. It's called neurofibromatosis. And because of her appearance, Valerie says she has been treated like a circus freak her entire life and often wishes that she was never even born. Now, let's take a look at Valerie because she is joining us today in hopes that sharing her story will inspire acceptance and understanding. Please, everybody, welcome this courageous young woman, Valerie. Here's Valerie. You okay? Now, how do most people react when they see you? They stare at me, they point, they whisper, and it's like, you know, they look like, ooh, what happened to her face? Okay. Now, have you had this as long as you can remember? Um, as far as I know, I was born with it, but it didn't start showing up until I got older. Okay. What was the worst time for you? Is today the worst time for you? Is it teenage years? What was it? At my worst time was I was like, when I was in school, because I was always teased, I was always spit at, pointed at. And then as I got older, I started trying to get myself to understand that, you know, I guess they don't understand what's going on. Instead of them asking me what's going, you know, what happened, they just stare. And I tell them a lot of times, you know, just, you know, ask me and I can tell you what happened. What are the, tell me about the worst of times. What, how do you, when do you feel the worst? I feel the worst when I have people that's my age that stare at me and laugh and giggle or when like if their kids come up to me, ask me what happened, they pull them away and tell them, you know, don't mess with her, don't talk to her. And everything I tell them is Do so you ever say anything to them? Yeah, I tell them. I've had guests on the show who suffer from various conditions, and they say, I dropped out of school, couldn't take it anymore, the way I was teased, the way I was isolated, I couldn't stand it, I dropped out of school, maybe I got my GED, maybe I didn't. You never dropped out of a grade, did you? No. You went all the way through school, didn't all you? All the way through. And if I brought a mirror out here and, and, and you looked at yourself in the mirror, what would you see? I would see a very lovely person. I would hope so. <laughs> well, you got it right. <laughs> now, there are lots of reasons that Valerie is here, but there are two really important reasons. You want to tell everybody about them? I have two kids, a little boy that's two and a little girl that's one. Right. What do you think? Look, here they are. Come on out here and see Mommy. Here you go, sit right here. And where's the other one? Here she is. This is my jewel right well, what's, here. Who's that? This is, is Monet. That Monet? Hi, Monet. Hi, Monet. How are you? And this one is? That's Manolito. That's my Manolito. 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 All right. I want to talk to your I want to talk. Very good. Come here, you want to sit on your mom's lap? There you go. There you go. Come on. Hey, you want to come over, Manolito? You want to come over here and sit with your mom? Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. All right. Now, Valerie, you know what everybody out there is asking right now? With these two marvelous kids, they're all asking the same thing. I wonder if it's going to happen to them. The doctor um, that I, I have my kids seen says it's a 50-50 chance that they could be, you know, have it. But at this point in time, they don't have it. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They must love you because they got the biggest smiles on their faces. <laughs> Look at that. This is the greatest. Yeah, right. Right, I'm the man. I'm the man. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. <laughs>